City of Stevens Point Board of Water and Sewerage Commissioners Meeting, recorded March 14, 2022. All right, I think we can start. Welcome, everybody. Uh, first item on the agenda is um, the minutes, of course. Any changes or corrections suggested? If not, a motion's in order. So move, Nachman. Ains will second. Great. All those in favor signify by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Department claims. We'll start as has been traditional with the water department. Any questions? Um, just a question on five, six, four, three, four. Uh, we had the plumbing and the heating working on the transformers. I guess what's the we're on water. Um, I think this is actually well 11 related. I'm right here. The transformer part was that part of the uh, did they was that supposed to be thermostat actually? <laughs> Or didn't we repair two thermostats at well 11? Mike replaced them. Okay. Yeah, I think I missed the uh, typo there. Uh, we got heater worked on by them. You know what, I'm going to have to check on that one. Oh, let oh. you know. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were spreading out. Hey, Mark, that one. Five, six, four, three, four. I'll get an email out to you guys on that one. Guessing that well nine had the unit heater, had some repairs. Oh, that's well six. That unit heater, I bet. Well six? Yes. Okay, that's all right. Well six unit heater. I guess one, yep. That'd be my bet. Nine and six. We work on heaters. <coughs> okay. All of those heaters have been Right, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Any other questions for uh, the water claims? All right, then we'll go on to sewage, please. Questions? Got a question on 56392. Um, it says advanced disposal sludge hauling. Yep. I wondered where they take the sludge to. Um, that is, let me just make sure I'm working on everything. Yep, that is going to the Cranberry Creek landfill. Okay. Down by Rapid. Okay. This is a cost because of the fact that the dryer's down right now. Right. Um, so, yeah. Any other questions on sewage? All right, let's go on to um, third set of claims under stormwater. Questions? Okay, if there aren't any questions, on stormwater, we'll entertain a motion to approve all three sets of claims. Move to approve, Carl. Can we get a second? And so second. second. All those in favor signify by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Scope of services for, I'll let you pronounce it, Joel. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you. Um, this is a scope of services with Rukert Milky. They've been doing the engineering and consulting related work for the city in East Park Commerce Center out where uh, Lineage, uh, Lineage Logistics, Lineage Logistics, previously Cold Storage is. 
And um, <clears throat> there's a large scope of work that we asked them between us and the util uh, public works to get together for the likely next phases um, so that we're ready for that. And you'll see on the on this sheet right here, they're all summarized. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see that. Um, so the two with the asterisks here are the ones that are going to be relevant to us. One of the really nice things about these projects out here is that the infrastructure so far has been paid for through the tax increment district out there. These services, however, are relevant to something outside the district or the not, not only the tax increment district, but East Park Commerce Center. Um, so they get into the fact that uh, we need a water system model update and a water system study, which is going to, if you look at the area out here, here, let me uh, get that a little better. Essentially what we're looking at is updating our water model so that we can figure out where we're gonna need a, sec a separate uh, pressure zone and then a someday water tower out here. And so those services account for that. It's not only updating the model, but then kind of a conceptual idea of where a tower would be. Um, these green services are the ones the city would be paying for, and the blue ones are the ones that we'd be paying for. And the, the outlines here just kind of show the general area that it covers. So the water system model update and the uh, system study. Um, and then as, a, as the lion's share goes here, the, the balance of the 285,000 would be covered by the city. So really consulting dollars, the scope is down there below if you wanna read into it in depth and we can certainly talk about that if you'd like, but that's what this item is. Where is uh, Burbank Road, Joe? Burbank, um, let me show you here. Oops. It is the first developed road east of, oh, what am I doing? East of East Park Commerce Center. So it's right, oh, it's right here. Um, Way out there, okay. Yep. You know that really weird uh, rail crossing? Yeah. Off of Old 18? That takes you right down Burbank. Okay. Right out there, yep. Yeah. So are we ultimately looking at um, the city developing all the way up to Burbank Road and a water tower out there somewhere? I think the tower will actually be more towards the west side of East Park Commerce Center here. <laughs> There's three different areas. Uh, the utility map isn't turned on here, um, but there's three different areas where the water system is connected out here. One here at Berluski, um, there's a 12 inch water main that comes under the interstate approximately here and another one down here. <clears throat> We're gonna take those three 12 inch pipes and essentially um, separate them from the rest of the system and put them into a higher pressure gradient. Because okay. as we go east, the pressure in the system is going way down. In fact, right out here at our transit building, we're at just over 50 pounds, um, which is getting a little on the light end, especially um, with big industrial like this. Their fire flow needs are so high that we're just barely meeting it out there. Okay. So, what do as an uh, ordinary resident, what, what do we have for pressure? Well, right in this building, I think we're in mid 60s. Okay. In north side of town where you are, mid 60s, yeah. Okay. Mid to upper, really. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, Joel, do we have this done periodically or was it at the request of uh, one of the owners of land out there or buildings or what, what brings no, yeah. up the topic in the first place? Well, a couple things. <clears throat> we do have this done periodically. It's probably been six or seven years since the last time our water model update was done. Um, and so this is really just making sure that all the new construction since then is incorporated. And it's important for us to understand how the system will respond to development, where our pressures and flows uh, might be inadequate, um, which, which we really don't have many areas that are. Um, but really it's because the, this is a big focus for the city in development. And one of the things that is far more, you know, Developing your water system, especially doing it properly, can take more time than simply drawing in a few lines. So as interested parties come out here, we wanna be ready for develop and development and not be the party holding things up because we need uh, engineering scope done before they can even start planning. So 
Um, it's really kind of a combination of things. Just from a water utility perspective, we should have this done so we know what we're dealing with, but also because this is a, a hot spot of development in the city. When I'm looking at this map, um, does it does it hypothetically uh, identify where a new tower would be out there? The scope would. Uh, this map doesn't. Um, whoops. Um, I'm guessing somewhere this area here, generally on the west side of the undeveloped. So everywhere, everywhere east of Berluski and west of Burbank is kind of East Park Commerce Center, um, except for what's already developed. And so as we, you know, we're doing this extension uh, right here of EM COPS this summer. We did this one last summer. And then um, the next likely big construction project is this red line, and that is actually Badger Avenue extended down to HH. And with that, we'll be putting in water main. This water main will probably be oversized. Um, it'll be 12 on each end, but probably 16 in the middle there uh, to connect to a water tower. And that'll allow us to kind of um, leap forward then and service the rest of everything east of there really well. Um, in that new pressure zone. So, no, it doesn't exactly identify the, the little postage stamp of land it'll be on, but it's not going to be too far off of this red line right here. So kind of southeast of uh, <clears throat> Land's End there. Yep, this is Land's End, yep. So, this is Anna. I'm on Plan Commission, and I know that that cold storage or whatever it is, the reason why that EM COPS drive is expanding is because they keep expanding. Um, so they're gonna keep going out. We have had discussions about that red line, the new road that would go in. And I know there has been proposed development and I thought it was passed, but I don't know what's happened to it about some large retail going in to that south what is it southwest corner yeah so there <clears throat> there is stuff happening um yeah, and, and yeah we do need this, to be prepared right and just so you all know this same scope of services um and map that you're looking at and everything here will go to uh i believe finance committee tonight i'm not sure finance is going to happen just yet it might need to get postponed but this same scope and proposal is going to finance and I'll let them know what the commission says here as far as the water items, but the rest of it would be a, a city expense through the, through the TID. So yeah, we're just trying to stay ahead because you know, when, when you do get a, a good project um, to land and like I said, the, the wheels of government can turn a little clo uh, slower than private development. So we just wanna be ready for them. And this is something that no matter what lands out there, we need anyway. So it's kind of like a why not now type thing. <clears throat> I well, a question. I have a question too. Well, you, you continue, Anne. Oh, okay. Uh, in this scope, I can't tell. There's a lot of very specific things, but we'll, Rupert Milky um, also work with the Community Development Office just to make sure we have, right, whatever they're thinking in terms of plans out in that direction, that everything is um, coordinated. Yes, actually, this whole thing was requested by and reviewed by Ryan, myself, and Scott. So all three of the departments okay. are, are actively involved okay, in this. So this is largely yeah. um, on behalf of community development. Yep. Okay. All right, so according to your correspondence to the commission, you're looking for a motion to approve um, paying up to or not, not exceeding $33,600 for the engineering related services, which were the two items that were asterisked on the attachment that was included with the memo. I do have one question uh, related to that funding and the breakout that shows on, on the map uh, where all the other items that are involving with uh, you know, planning and engineering, uh, apparently they, you know, they look like they're allowable under the TID. Uh, why is the 
the water utility not eligible for TID financing? We, we are. And, and like I said, there's been hundreds of thousands of in dollars invested out there under the TID. Yeah. The water system study, especially the model update, falls mostly outside of that. And so it's one of those things where we're walking the line pretty, pretty hard there. And there's more out here um, in the way of uh, likely projects than there is TID money anyway. So since we're getting into the gray area, um, and these are studies that will benefit um, outside of the system, outside of the East Park Commerce Center as, as well, we just kind of figured that these are things that are relevant to be uh, out, out of the TID funding more than in it at this phase. But every bit of construction that's happened inside of that TID district has been covered by that TID. So we've been going through several years of construction and, and the utility enterprise hasn't paid for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> for example, all three spots where we're gonna cut off the system, out there, all three of those lie outside East Park Commerce Center. Um, updating the model largely takes um, us putting inputs into the things that have happened in the last six, seven years. And while there has been a little bit of utility extension out here, it also involves our big uh, reconstruct projects that have been focused on the north side of downtown. So it's really, th this, this has a minority of the work out here is really related to that. It's just that as it is related to it, we've called it out on this map because the rest of the scope of services is within East Park Commerce Center. And certainly to do anything else out there, we'd want this ready, but even if nothing was knocking on our door, we'd need to update this because of the, the fact that it's six or seven years old either way. Okay, I think a motion is in order. So move, Knockman. Painful second. All those in favor signify by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, motion carried. Uh, the water supply and distribution report. Eric? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. As you can see, February was a lot higher than 2021. Um, that is due to the mill. Uh, they have changed their operation a little bit and are definitely taking more water. The thing for us. The only other thing I had to add was uh, waiting on the screen for the test well for well 12. That was supposed to be here and starting the installation this week, but I have an email this morning to the uh, uh, contractor, and so it looks like we might be a week or two behind. Um, keep you updated. Hopefully in April, we have a test well already with results and sample for us. <coughs> That's all I had. Unless there are other questions on pumping or anything else, whatever it is. Um, I guess I, I did have a question, and uh, looking in the minutes reminded me where there was a discussion about that the new chart that we have for the pumpage on well 11 is to show it would, uh, there's a 2,000 or two, 2 million gallon cap or? So basically, or yeah, our, our agreement um, with the town of Hall uh, states that we can vary, I think it is 15% monthly or 10% quarterly from a daily average of what is 2,000 gallons per minute, which I think is 2.88 million a day, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. So basically this right here, because they can look at the month and they can do the math and see if we're outside of 15%, and then they can add up three months and see if we're outside of 10% without us having to deliver a separate report. Mm -hmm. So it'll always be in our minutes so that if anybody's ever looking, they can just look at the most recent minutes and see this chart. Mm -hmm. Because well, because if we're not outside that pumping rate, then none of the well guarantee stuff that we signed up for triggers, because this is one of the triggering events, is us getting outside of our agreed upon pumping window. Mm -hmm. I was just curious, you know, with the substantial increase we're seeing from, right. from one year to the next, you know, originally we were, you know, just roughly, you know, eight or um, sixty percent, or even half of, of that. With, you know, nothing's variable on the on the well eleven, and I think that's you know definitely zeroed in. But all of a sudden now we're at half mm -hmm. uh, of yeah. 
well well 11 and you know is there a point where there's a start hitting a capacity on the overall system again or no i we don't have a pumping capacity issue cuz basically what we're doing is well 11 is our lead well and mm -hmm. it's going to pump at 2000 gallons a minute if we need more water second well kicks in if we need more water third well kicks in and then as the tower levels are reached those wells kick off in reverse order even well 11 will kick off at, at at a at a certain point so we're in really low consumption time of the year winter middle of the night that kind of thing um you'll see that one turn off too which is why there's some variability there right because it's not it's not perfectly 2000 gallons a minute all day every day we do actually cycle those pumps um and run the bigger pumps at a higher gallon per minute and then the smaller pumps at a lower gallon per minute now but they average out to about 2000 gallons per minute over the course of a week um, so no, we don't. We have quite a bit of capacity left, but it'll be nice to get uh, the new well 12 online, um, mm -hmm. just so that we have another treatment plant in the works. Um, but yeah, we're not we're not running up against any capacity issues. Do we, do we run well 11 at the rates we do because of uh, the water quality is good? 11? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, even the raw water at 11 is good, but especially after it's treated, it's even better. So really, really high quality final product there okay and well 11 just operates better when it's on you know it's a it's a big plant it's the yeah. type of thing where keep it running yeah. everything goes well i will say that as of recently since fall uh, usually the second well and third well kick off most of the day or throughout the night i should say right now the second one isn't even getting a break so we are seeing an increase in pumpage from the demand from the mill and three of the meters out of the five meters at the mill are seeing an increase from 50% up to 300% usage since November. Wow. So, and so we've got, well, the ones we want to pump, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5, 5 wells right now. And there's actually two pumps at 10 if we got really desperate for it. Um, so we're, I think we're well, we're comfortable. Mm -hmm. If, I mean, what is, is that number that the total capacity to, oh. in terms of scope? Total, like if we had to, what, what could we run? Yeah, twenty some. I think I think we could. I think we did this number once yeah. on the high side. I'd say twelve thousand gallons a minute. Both pumps at ten. Yeah. Two thousand fifteen hundred. That's a uh, that's seventeen million a day. Yeah. That's yeah. higher than our high and than our peak day ever. That's without well four. That's yeah. running yeah. well pumps at ten, but that's going to create problems. Yeah. We're about ten percent. We're we, running about ten percent right now. Yeah, we've got more water than we want to pump. I'll tell you. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll yeah. start okay. we'll start having it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> unless we had an issue with one or two wells going down for some odd reason, then I'd get really concerned. And you guys might remember too. One of the things is you need to have your peak day demand available with your largest well out of service. That's yeah. how they gauge that. Okay. Yeah. You know, these are you know the the numbers are seeing for. 2022 are higher than what we've yeah. seen in the last 10 years. Yep. Yep. You know, if that's the new threshold, then yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's interesting. Now, I just remember at the time, you know, preceding well 11, when we were kind of saying that we weren't able to match our, if our charges <coughs> well and down. Yeah. Right, and at, our, at the time, well 10 was our biggest well, and so now it's essentially like we have the capacity without the new well, right? Because the biggest well out of service gives you all the capacity of the previous wells. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but that does tie into these studies too. There's supply study stuff like that. Make sure that we're good there. All right. Any further discussion on for for Eric? If not, let's go forward to the uh, sewage treatment operations report from Chris. All right, well, we met all of our DNR permit requirements for the month of February. Um, we had Andrus on site working on the dryer. Um, they actually had people from the Netherlands, Kentucky, and Texas all here for multiple weeks working on it, trying to make everything up and running. Um, we are currently still down, but we are doing a final kind of a, a final 
check to make sure that we don't have any more leaks. And that should be completed today or tomorrow. And then we will hopefully be done sending material to land stuff. Other than that, the numbers all look really good. So if you have any questions, I'll take questions. When we are making the pelleted byproduct, what's the the most common use that or, or that it's getting used for? Uh, we have a local farmer who takes every one, every bit of it. He he has his trucks come in. We fill his trucks up. He takes it to the farm, and they land apply it for egg fertilizer. And just so everybody remembers, uh, when we got into this, we did a bit of an RFP um, to see who would propose um, what kind of use. And that was really to ensure that as we started creating it, that we'd get rid of it. Um, I think that was a three-year thing, two-year thing? It was multiple years. Multi multiple year. Anyway, the, the, um, the opportunity is ahead to kind of issue that again to see if, um, see if there's other interest. But as Chris stated it is it is really convenient that we have zero trucking costs zero disposal costs associated with it at this time and if it becomes a, more of a in-demand um, type product in the quantity that we have it we can issue an R, another RFP and see if there's somebody that wants to not only take it but pay for it stuff like that when you when you look throughout the state um, our program is probably one of the best programs for handling a dried biosolid like this um, we're one of the few that actually has the material go away at no cost. A lot of the other places are still either paying for trucking or having a difficult time finding places for it to go. And that all depends on the particle shape and particle size and things of that nature that our dryer allows us to produce that other facilities may not have. All right. Anything else, Chris? Nope. I have one more question, Mr. Chairman. Um, I understand the, the water quality numbers, but I don't understand the, the sewage flow. It says raw and final yep. gallons per day, but how does, how does that fluctuate, the raw and the final? You're saying how they don't correlate evenly between the two, between right. raw and final? Yeah. I agree. It's a, it is partially a flow meter difference because you calibrate your flow meters annually. Okay. Um, we actually do it twice a year. Um, and those can be off up to 10% and be within spec. Oh. Um, but then there is also um, any reuse water. So when we're running the dryer or anything like that, um, we actually send water into the facility after the influent Flow meter gotcha. because it's coming as a process return. Okay. So any wash water things like that end up being brought in there as well. So that kind of and the garage over here that. takes anywhere from 20 to 180 gallons a minute off, yeah. off of that system. Yep. yep. So yeah, we've got water going in a lot of different directions. So it's not an in and out. It's it is coming and going from a bunch of different places as okay. well. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Chris. Um, we all have a letter from Joel dated March 9th regarding the roof. Um, I think it's pretty much self-explanatory, although um, Joel did include a narrative for us. Joel, you want to just go over it quickly and then uh, we'll get a motion to, to approve? You bet. Um, so we've done this the last several years now where we've put together a roofing project that involves more than one. Uh, this one has two roofs at wastewater, uh, the well 10 roof, and then some work being done um, at on a hangar door, which you'll see on the airport agenda. So here we're talking about two wastewater roofs, one water roof. They came in. Um, the one thing that I needed to point out, and I'll modify capital based on it, um, we actually only put one line item in the wastewater one for 120. There was another one on our on our write up from them early on that I just overlooked. That was 100,000. So that is that is actually very close to where it came in. They estimated 220 for those put together, um, and so we're not off. It's just I, I didn't include it in capital right. So everything looks good here. 
And uh, what we're proposing to award is $295,000 or $794.95, which includes the 15% contingency. And that one is which company? Uh, Nick Michaels and Sons of Nicosia, okay. Wisconsin. Got it. Any questions? Motion to approve is in order. I'll move for approval, Ray. Second, Carl. All those in favor, signify by the sign of aye. 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 Both same sign, motion carried. Approval on digester number three. All right, so this is another um, capital item I wanted to give you an update on because on the capital that was approved, you might recall we left a zero dollar amount on this because we didn't have the details in yet. And now what we know is that the first step of this, and I put it right here, the, here's, here's the, what the, the project entails, removing the cover, investigating the problem, repairing the problem, replacement of the cover. The first and last items here, the removal and the replacement of the cover, we have estimates on now, quotes that is, and we can get that done for under $10,000. We cannot estimate the repair because we don't know what the problem is yet. And so what I'm looking for, um, we're pretty confident that we can get the whole thing done um, under $20,000. So I'd like to get permission to move forward um, with basically just calling that item a $20,000 item and we'll work within that. Um, and if it's outside of that, we'll come back for uh, commission approval. Any questions? If not, a motion to uh, approve is in order. So move not Keynes will second. All those in favor signify by the sign of aye. 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 Both same sign, motion carried. Um, construction and maintenance report is the last piece of paper in the uh, sewer and water packet. Any comments? Our, our crews um, were busy last weekend cleaning up some of the flooding that wasn't too bad. Um, as a, we met last uh, early last week then and um, discussed correct some more problems and we're, we're looking to forward a few little small projects that will uh, bring you up to date what's how most it's going to be in the house for right now. So um, other than that, just kind of touching up on uh, some small stuff, fire, fire hydrant maintenance and that kind of thing. I'm um, getting ready for the spring. So. We have um, issues because the, the ground was still frozen or there were snow banks or for the most part the ground the amount of frost that was in the ground okay any of our infrastructure that we currently have in place as far as storm sewer and that kind of stuff for the most part and uh we had gotten ready and it all took water okay it was just in our swale areas and that kind of stuff yep so, okay we currently do have a little bit going on today again too because of the warm but i, I think it's going to be short-lived Any other questions? Okay, then let's go on to the contract awarding for the fiber optic project. Yo. Thank you. Um, so just wrote this memo today because uh, this project opened on Friday. Um, so stuff happened here after the agenda was put together and sent out. Um, this project is uh, an addition to the community area network. Um, this time we're adding on to several sites for the city, potentially um, the county, uh, extending to their kind of highway facility. And then the project includes a connection to Kennedy School in Junction City. We're not going that entire way. We're actually uh, just constructing the last bit in Junction City and leasing some fiber from another party. Um, all of the costs in here are billable to one party or another outside of the CAN Enterprise Fund. Um, so a, a bulk of that, a very large percentage of that is to the county and the school district. And then a little bit of that would be billed to different parts of the city if they want us to complete them. Um, so it is pass-through cost and the, uh, 
request for award is to Alexco of Seymour, Wisconsin, in amount not to exceed $246,057.88. That also includes the 15% contingency. Any questions? I just got a question on, it, it says that we're um, conducting some several spots in the city of Stevens Point. Is that because we're going past those spots or? They're just other needs. Um, they're, they're relatively small uh, projects and because of that, they're, they're kind of big dollar items for those little ones. So I don't know for sure that we'll complete all those, but different things come up where maybe um, a department of the city wants a, a camera for security or there's another building that they want to get the city network to or things like that. So relatively short shots, okay. um, but yeah, all built off of the existing infrastructure. Okay, thank yep. you. Yep. And there's the bid tab right there, Alexco highlighted. So they came in pretty good, good bid. Um, either they're hungry or what's the... Yeah. Yeah, well, good. yeah, there's there's a bit, a bit of a difference there, but we'll take it. Or, <laughs> I mean... Yeah, they're the ones former and been... They did the school project for us a couple of years ago that was over a million dollar project and did a good job. So we're not worried at all. Okay. Yeah. Always, 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 yeah, yeah, well, okay, you know, you don't want them in trouble, you know, if, we, if they need. Uh... All right, um, on to the community network report and your director's report, Joel. I think I jumped the gun a little there. Did we get a motion? And a... No. No, nope. I didn't we need, we need a, we need a one. Uh, something on that, on that bit award to this. Oh, where am I? Too far up. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the other document. I got. I got this. We need. We need this motion yet. Right we need a motion for the. I'd move to approve this, Carl. I'll second, Ray. All those in favor, signify by the sign of aye. 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 All the same sign. Motion carried. Now on to. Items 11 and 12. I've got nothing to add for these two this week. All right. Motion to adjourn is in order. Move to adjourn. All those in favor signify by the sign of aye. 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 All same sign. Motion carried. <laughs>